What does it mean to be spiritual? Now that is the question that I'm going to be discussing in this mini-series as I discuss the essential qualities of a spiritual person to help you learn how to be more spiritual. Now in this mini-series I will explain how to be spiritual to help you improve your connection with the Source so you can improve your Reiki and meditation practice and enhance your spiritual development. And the first essential quality that I'm going to discuss is simplicity. So what exactly is simplicity and how does simplicity help you to be more spiritual? Well, in this modern world that we live in, there are many distractions. You know, computers, mobile phones, iPads, smart TVs, gaming consoles and other forms of entertainment are all competing with one another to capture the attention of our mind. Now, we have so many distractions placed in front of us within our own homes that most people's minds are in a constant state of preoccupation before they even step out into the wider world. Now, if there were such a thing as an anti-spiritual person, which would be a, a person that wants to stop you from expressing your spiritual side, all they would need to do is ensure they capture your attention and keep your mind busy. And in the modern world that we live in, there is a constant supply of metaphorical mouse traps set up all around you, wafting the smell of fine cheese in your face, hoping that you can't resist a wee nibble. Now it's okay to enjoy the world, but don't allow your mind to be captured by it, because a busy mind that's constantly preoccupied with its surroundings is a mind that is led, controlled and held in bondage, which limits your freedom to express your essential spiritual qualities. Now, as with most things in life, there need to be a, a balance between playing in the physical world and working on our spiritual development. And this is why simplicity is an essential quality that teaches you how to be more spiritual. Now, imagine for a moment if you had an empty mind that wasn't influencing your behaviour to compel you to want things. Now imagine you simplified your life to the point that you had absolutely no wants and no desires. Now you would stop running after things and you would stop preoccupying your mind with constant mental busyness. And because your mind was not busy compelling you to run after things, you would be able to rest in silent awareness and contemplate the deeper purpose of your life. And when your mind lets go of selfish wants and desires, you start becoming aware not of what you can get out of life, but what you can give. And simplifying your life is the key to help you become better aware of what you have to give and how you're going to give it. And there are many ways that you can simplify your life. You can decide to let go of an excess of possessions that you don't really need. You can decide to stop buying things that are not necessarily needed in your life. And you can choose not to claim possession over people, objects and things. Now those three things will simplify your life quite significantly. However, you can simplify your life even more. Now, if your schedule is jam-packed, doing this, that and the next thing, ask yourself how much of what I'm doing is completely necessary. Ask yourself where you can do less in your life so you can spend more time on yourself. Now, people often say, I don't have time to spend on myself. And I would say, that's exactly what you're here to do. You're here to spend time connecting with yourself, exploring yourself, understanding yourself and realising your deeper purpose. Now apart from the necessities to keep the human body alive, functioning and secure in the modern world, everything else should be secondary to exploring yourself. Exploring yourself should be the primary goal for all of us, but we have to break our minds free from all those mouse traps and simplify our lives so we have time for ourselves. 
Now, it's simply a matter of simplifying your life and rearranging your priorities so you create more time for yourself. So simplifying your life does not mean doing as little as possible. It means finding a balance that allows you to devote more time to exploring yourself. Now, without having that deeper purpose driving your behaviour, the mind will step in and drive your behaviour for you. So you can maybe see that simplicity is not just what you do in the physical world. Simplicity is a state of mind. Simplicity is allowing your mind to return to its natural state of being empty and still while your entire being is channeled towards your life purpose of exploring yourself. Simplify your life, simplify your mind, simplify the intention of your life and in doing so you will find a better balance between enjoying the world and exploring yourself while feeling a sense of happiness and purpose. Now as the scholar, mystic and monk Thomas Merton once said, your life is shaped by the end you live for. What do you live for?